barbecue short rib, roasted garlic, mashed potatoes, blueberry cornbread. Happy Sunday, you guys. Today, you're spending Sunday with me as I prepare Sunday dinner and also breakfast. Happy Sunday, you guys. So, I'm about to make breakfast well, for myself because Lila already ate it much. leftovers for breakfast. So, you're good. Yes. Yes, I'm totally good. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna let's make some breakfast and then we'll start prepping for Sunday dinner. Today's dinner is gonna be a barbecue short ribs, so, so short ribs with mashed potatoes and some veggies on the side. I might make some cornbread and some delicious, healthy, homemade juice. Um, yeah, get up, uh, let's get party, let's get party. So, I'm making, I only have one piece of fish here because like I said, I'm only making breakfast for me. Repeat me too, please. Make breakfast for you to put you later. So, I'm still hungry. Um, and I'm trying to be healthy, so I'm gonna air fry this instead of frying it. The grease. traditional way, yeah, with grease. And I'm also gonna make some eggs. Yeah. Eggs with spinach. And that's gonna be, oh, and a smoothie, and that's my breakfast. So yeah, well, oh, I'm making the fish already seasoned and I'm just gonna air fry it, okay? I seasoned it with onion powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, the usual stuff, parsley, and yeah, gonna air fry it for like 10 minutes or so. Okay guys, so my eggs is finished. And so now we are plating our delicious eggs. I hope they're not dropping. So the spinach Why do you keep th throwing shots at my eggs? Y'all, it's cause she don't like she don't she don't like dry eggs, so and I, usually I make my eggs really cooked, so. They're dry. They're dry. <laughs> so yeah, I have to make her eggs on the, you know, less dry side, if that makes sense. All right, y'all, so now I'm making the smoothie. 
So I don't like, I don't want a lot of milk in mine. I'm using oat milk today, but I don't like, when it comes to smoothies, honestly the only milk I really like using in smoothies is like coconut milk. But I don't like a lot of milk in my smoothies. I prefer my smoothies on the fruity side. If that makes sense. It's a cream. It's a cream so I like to use water sometimes or juice. Yeah. Like if I had orange juice, should we put it in there? <coughs> well, we can make orange juice. Like we have an orange right there. So I added some mango and I'm gonna add water. So you and strawberry. I'm making a strawberry mango smoothie. If I had banana, I would add it, but I don't. So we're gonna do without it. Lala, can you give me the agave, please? And to sweeten, I'm using agave to sweeten the smoothie. Now, this is gonna be well, I like my drinks sweet, Lila, so. Oh yeah, I forgot. My mom loves sweet more than she loves sour. Or salty. I don't understand why anybody would drink. Ask. Come. Come closer. It's good? It's like a big piece of strawberry right there. It's okay. It has like a slushy texture. Mm -hmm. Nice and fruity and sweet. Good enough for me. I'm pouring it into my cup right here. Uh, Ooh, uh, yeah. uh. Alright y'all, so the fish is cooked and breakfast is ready. So now I'm just going to add condiments. So on mine's only some pepperoni chili, pepperoni chili, <laughs> peppers, just going to add a wad. Some ketchup because I like to eat my eggs with uh, salsa or ketchup. And for the fish, too. And my smoothie, I had to give Lila something. So I'm about to start cooking Sunday dinner. So the short ribs is right here, already washed. So I'm kind of gonna make a dry rub for it. And then we're gonna use that on the ribs. So I'm adding brown sugar. This is the lazy way of making a dry rub instead of, you know, mixing all the ingredients together first and then adding it. I'm just gonna add it on the ribs and then mix everything together. I'm adding parsley, adding a little bit of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and a little bit of brown cumin. And I'm gonna rub that onto the ribs really well, mixing everything together. And this is it. That's what we want. Okay, so I placed my frying pan over medium high heat and I added a little bit of oil just to coat the bottom of the pot, y'all. Look. 
And as you can see at the root it gets a nice brown crust all over on each side. Okay, so it's finished browning on all sides as you can see. It's nice and seared, so I'm placing it into the baking dish. And I'm going to cover it and place it to the in the oven. Make sure it's covered, y'all. So I'm pairing the short ribs with some roasted garlic mashed potato. So to make it, you're going to need to get a whole bulk of garlic and a slice of the top off, just like this, okay? Once you have the top sliced off like this, y'all, place it on foil paper, just like that, and drizzle it with some olive oil and salt and black pepper. And you're gonna fold it up, place it into the oven, to roast. Okay. Sit and just rub that into the garlic on top and fold it up. Okay, and I'm gonna place this into the oven. All right, y'all, so while the ribs is in the oven, let's work on the mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna peel three large potatoes. and cut them in quarters. This will make it easier for them to cook faster. So I got a pot of water here that I'm putting to boil for the mashed potatoes and I'm gonna add the cut up potatoes to it. Add some salt and cover it, let it come to a boil, let the potatoes cook for about 15 minutes or so until it's fork tender. So the potatoes is cooked y'all, so I'm using my potato masher to start mashing them up. So I'm adding some freshly ground black pepper to the mashed potatoes. I'm also going to add salt, onion, and garlic powder, and a few tablespoons of butter. And then you could add half and half or milk. Today I'm using cream because I have it on hand. Right here, y'all, I have the roasted garlic. It smells so good. Mm, garlic. Okay, really I should let this cool before I squeeze it, but I ain't got time. You wanna let it cool, then squeeze the garlic out of the, and just mix it, like mash up the garlic. Gonna add the butter. And then you want to add hot milk or cream into your potatoes. And then you want to taste the potatoes and make sure it has enough salt and all of the other seasonings we added. And that's it for our roasted garlic mashed potato. Okay, and just like that, our mashed potatoes is done. It's ready. Okay, the ribs is looking good, y'all. Okay. This is what it's looking like. Mmm. 
Now I'm just gonna add some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of Dijon mustard and onions. And then I'm gonna mix it all together and put it back in the oven to finish baking. Okay y'all, so I'm making some blueberry cornbread. So in this bowl, I'm adding one cup of cornmeal. One cup of cornmeal. One cup of flour. One tablespoon baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Okay guys, so I'm mixing the dry ingredients together. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna add all of the liquid ingredients. So I'm gonna crack one egg. So we'll add the shells, y'all. Can I take some gum? And one third cup of oil. Almost forgot, you wanna add half a cup of sugar to the dry ingredients. Mix, mix, mix the wet ingredients and mix it everything to combine. And then we're going to add it, the liquid ingredients to the dry ingredients. All, okay. Now I'm going to add that to the dry ingredients and just mix until everything is well incorporated. Make sure you preheat your oven to 425 degrees and also get your baking dish for the cornbread ready. We have one more ingredient to add. That blueberries. is the blueberries. So I'm gonna wash about half a cup and just add it to the batter. Yeah, and mix it into the batter really well. I save some of the blueberries. I'm gonna sprinkle it on top of the cornbread once we pour it into the baking dish. Okay. Just spray the bottom with some. Baking spray. I'm just gonna pour all of that in there. Okay, y'all. So it's in the baking dish, and I'm gonna take the remaining blueberries and just sprinkle it on top like this. Like this, and I'm just lightly pressing the blueberries in, and we're gonna bake it at 425. For about 30 minutes or so, 25 30 minutes until the knife will work and you pierce the corner and it comes out clean. Okay, so let's bake this back away. Okay, guys, our blueberry cornbread is finished and it looks so good. Okay, so I just took a fork and pierced it, it came out clean, so that's how I know it's cooked. I'm drizzling it with some honey on top. Oh, yeah. Just gonna use this brush to spread the honey on top of it. Ooh, this looks so good, y'all. This looks delicious. But yeah, this is basically it for my cornbread. Delicious blueberry cornbread. Okay, I'm gonna try cutting a slice. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Yum. Okay, y'all, so now I'm making my juice. I'm using apples and oranges. 
I'm peeling the oranges. Okay guys, so this is all the juice that I juiced. <laughs> I'm gonna add water. So I added water. And of course y'all, if you want, you can just drink the freshly squeezed juice, but I'm trying to make a whole jar, a whole pitcher of juice and I didn't feel like squeezing more fruits. So this is a good way to make a stretch. Is squeeze it, then add water and sweeten it to your liking. The ribs is finished. You want to cook the ribs until it's tender and almost falling off the bone. This is what the ribs came out like. See if I can get a better look. It looks delicious. It looks so good. I can't wait to try it. So, yeah, cook it until you see it very tender. Falling off the bone, y'all. Mm, this is gonna be amazing and the onions caramelize Ooh. It's looking like y'all. Oh, this is Sunday's dinner today. So for Sunday dinner today, I have my blueberry cornbread, spinach, sauteed spinach, some barbecue, short ribs, and creamy mashed potatoes. Nice and simple. Let's try this deliciousness. I already know it's gonna be good. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Alright y'all, so my camera had died, so now I'm using my phone, but anyways, within that time of me, you know, charging my camera, I ate, I, the food tastes so good, I couldn't wait, as you can see, all of the ribs is gone, me and Lila tore it down, cornbread is going, okay,